Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2023 Chevrolet Silverado ZR2 Bison Edition. As with all of my reviews, I'm going to cover all of the ins and outs and take this thing on a thorough drive. As always, there's a whole lot of stuff to cover, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. The Special Edition Silverado ZR2 Bison, designed in collaboration with American Expedition Vehicles, builds off the success of the all-new ZR2, which first launched for the 2022 model year. The ZR2 represents the flagship of Chevy Truck's factory-lifted off-road lineup, offering race-proven off-road performance along with a premium interior, immersive technology, a number of standard safety features, and off-road prowess, all wrapped up into one comprehensive package. The ZR2's suspension upgrades, enhanced off-road technology, and exterior enhancements were developed to optimize off-road performance and capability, whether desert running or rock crawling, while balancing everyday driving comfort and supporting comparable payload and trailering capability to other Silverado off-road trims. The Bison takes things even further, having been uniquely tuned to unlock new heights and off-road capability for customers seeking overlanding adventures. AEV, a premium off-road aftermarket manufacturer, has a strong track record for providing accessories that excel in overland expedition environments. The main goal in designing the Bison was to create the ultimate half-ton truck for tackling the backcountry. The AEV stamped steel front and rear bumpers are constructed of 3mm thick steel and are powder and E-coated. The bumpers feature heavy duty recovery points and integrated step pads. The front bumper in particular is a three piece design with removable end caps for easier replacement in the event of close encounters with rocks or other off-road objects. It has a built-in license plate bracket and is even compatible with an available winch accessory. The press-hardened hot stamped boron steel used for the underbody skid plates is three and a half times stronger than an equivalent cold stamped high strength steel plate and provides incredible resistance to underbody damage. The plates provide protection for the front and rear differentials, the transfer case and the fuel tank. The dual exhaust system has been replaced before the rear bumper to eliminate potential damage. Full length steel rocker panel guards are also included along with an exclusive wheel and tire package. The approach and departure angles of the Bison are 32.5 and 23.4 degrees respectively, which are slightly improved over the standard ZR2. Ground clearance remains the same at 11.2 inches. Additional ZR2 specific aesthetic cues include a black hood insert with engine displacement badging, a unique grille with integrated lighting and a flow tie emblem, blacked out window trim, door handles and mirror caps, and ZR2 badging on the fenders, tailgate and grille. In addition to the aforementioned upgrades, the Bison Edition has a body color grille, a black tailgate applique, bedside decals, and an AEV badge on the tailgate. The interior gets a bunch of unique touches as well, which I'll dive more into in just a bit. All of the truck's front lighting are LED, including the running lamps and fog lamps. The tail lamps are LED and there's LED marker lights on the side view mirrors. 
The 2023 Silverado ZR2 starts at $73,345 and is available in nine exterior colors with an impressive variety to choose from. This example is finished in red hot, which is a no-cost option. The ZR2 Bison Edition is a $7,895 option. Additional options equipped on this example include the technology package, the multi-flex tailgate, and a dealer-installed hard tonneau cover. The total MSRP for what you see here, including destination fees, is $84,905. The ZR2 comes standard with a wheel and tire setup that's more off-road appropriate than any other wheels offered across the Silverado lineup. The 18 by 8.5 inch aluminum wheels are finished with a machined face, black painted spokes, and oxide gold painted outer ring accents. They're mounted to special LT27570 Goodyear Wrangler Territory mud terrain tires with a 33 inch diameter. The Bison Edition has its own unique wheel and tire package consistent of 18-inch gloss black AEV wheels and 27570 Goodyear Wrangler Territory Mud Terrain tires. While the Mud Terrain tires offer great traction in the muck, they do have a trade-off during daily use as you'll notice more road noise than you would with a typical all-terrain tire. As far as the brakes, all Silverados feature four-wheel internally ventilated Duralife rotors with electro-hydraulic power assistance and ABS. The rotors span 13 by 1.18 inches in front and 13.6 by 0.79 inches in the rear. They're clamped down by four-piston and single-piston calipers respectively. Stopping from 60 miles an hour unloaded takes about 126 feet. The Duralife brake rotors have better resistance to corrosion to increase rotor life, minimize brake pulsation, and improve aesthetic appearance. The rotors feature a corrosion fighting process called ferritic nitrocarburizing, which can double rotor life expectancy and reduce or minimize rust. The foundation on which these new full-size trucks are built consists of a fully boxed steel frame that drops 88 pounds and offers 10% greater torsional rigidity when compared to the previous generation trucks. Thanks to a mixed materials approach, these new trucks also shed about 360 pounds of weight thanks to the use of aluminum for the doors, hood, and tailgate. Steel is still used for the fenders, roof, and the bed. All of this leads to a stronger platform and improved driving dynamics, even though this truck has a 3.9 inch longer wheelbase and 1.9 inches of additional overall length compared to the previous generation. Unfortunately, I did not have the chance to take this thing off-roading, so I honed in on seeing what it was really like as a daily driver. The thing that impressed me the most was the ride quality. For an off-road focused truck, the ZR2 is downright comfortable and a pleasure to drive. It's smooth and handles road imperfections well, even better than the Trail Boss. This is thanks to a number of suspension enhancements that also make this truck far more off-road capable. For starters, it employs special Multimatic 40mm DSSV spool valve dampers which feature three separate spool valves to control damping force and three connected chambers for fluid flow. Uniquely tuned springs in combination with the Multimatic dampers increase the maximum front and rear suspension travel compared to a Silverado Trail Boss. Front and rear electronic differential lockers are standard. You also have specific off-road chassis and suspension calibrations, including a terrain mode, which allows one pedal rock crawling. The unique bumpers and skid plate package offer improved durability and clearance compared to the Trail Boss. The enhanced front and rear suspensions also incorporate lightweight components, such as composite second stage leaf springs. The general suspension design includes an independent front setup and a solid axle setup in the rear with semi-elliptic variable rate multi-leaf springs. 
The steering is an electric power assisted rack and pinion setup that offers good feel, surprisingly responsive behavior, and easy maneuverability for such a large truck. The steering has been further tuned for the mud terrain tires to compensate for the extra resistance of the more aggressive treads. The Silverado ZR2 and the ZR2 Bison Edition come standard with a naturally aspirated 6.2 liter V8. It develops 420 horsepower at 5,600 RPM and 460 pound-feet of torque at 4,100 RPM. It's a fantastic engine overall with a great sound and plenty of power to get you up and going. It's built using aluminum for the block and heads and features an overhead valve design with two valves per cylinder and variable valve timing. Fuel is delivered via direct injection. The compression ratio is 11.5 to 1. Max engine speed is 5,800 RPM. A couple of advanced fuel saving technologies include auto start stop and dynamic fuel management. The latter combines a number of cylinder deactivation modes that are designed to optimize energy efficiency across a broad range of driving conditions, such as towing. The auto start stop system is surprisingly unobtrusive, one of the smoothest I've experienced, but if you prefer, it can be turned off by a button in the center stack. Perhaps the biggest downside of the ZR2 is fuel economy. EPA estimated fuel economy numbers for the 6.2 liter using premium 93 octane ranges between 14 miles per gallon in the city and 17 miles per gallon on the highway. In mixed driving, I saw around 15 miles per gallon. The total tank capacity is 24 gallons. The standard transmission is a 10 speed automatic. It's electronically controlled with a console shifter. While it may seem strange to see in a full-size truck, paddle shifters are included as well, but they do more than just allow for manual gear changes. They also operate the transmission's electronic range select feature. The transmission features a short 4.70 to 1 first gear ratio and a tall 0.64 to 1 final overdrive ratio. Out of the 10 forward speeds, the top three are overdrive ratios. The closeness of the gears also allow for quick yet smooth gear changes that keep the engine within the sweet spot of its power band. Not only does this yield impressive acceleration and overall throttle response, but it also benefits trailering performance. Speaking of acceleration, the ZR2 can hit 60 miles an hour in about 6.1 seconds, which is impressive for a full-size off-road focused truck. The top speed is limited by the tires and is governed at 98 miles per hour. You have a selection of drive modes too, including normal, off-road, and terrain, plus a trailering mode. The modes adjust the transmission shift points, throttle mapping, and Stabilitrack system to optimize performance for the situation at hand depending on the terrain or weather conditions. Like I said earlier, front and rear electronic differential lockers are standard on the ZR2, along with 3.23 axle ratios and hill descent control. The differential lockers offer superior traction and power engagement when needed, either at the rear or the front and rear for a serious situation.
The tailgate is electrically operated and can be opened up at the back or within the cab. The damped design prevents the tailgate from slamming down when opened. One of my favorite available features on the Silverado that is automatically added with the Bison Edition is the Multiflex Tailgate, which offers six functions and positions for enhanced second tier loading and load stop solutions, a standing workstation, and easier access to items in the cargo box. It's a $445 option, which if you ask me, is a bargain. A sliding rear window is standard on the ZR2. The Silverado offers the largest cargo volume of any full-size truck, whether you're looking at a short bed, a standard bed, or a long bed. Crew cab 1500s are offered with a standard 6 foot 6 inch bed or a 5 foot 8 inch short bed. The latter offers 62.9 cubic feet of volume and is the only bed offered on the ZR2. The roll formed steel floor features high strength steel that's 50% stronger than the previous generation Silverado while being 7 inches wider overall. A spray-in bed liner is standard on the ZR2, which also comes paired with rear wheelhouse liners. There's a few tonneau cover options as well, including this lockable hard folding cover. Additional bed functionality includes enhanced LED cargo lights so it's easier to work at night, 12 fixed cargo tie-downs that are rated at 500 pounds per corner, 9 movable cargo tie-downs, and a 110 volt power outlet. On the left bed side, there's a grab handle that can be raised and locked in place to make it easier to climb into the bed. I believe the primary reason that the Bison Edition requires you to get the Multiflex tailgate is that the AEV rear bumper does not offer the integrated quarter steps that you would typically find on a standard ZR2 or any Silverado for that matter. Regardless, it's a wonderfully convenient feature that makes the bed entry effortless. A plethora of camera views are standard and allow you to keep an eye on everything around you, with features like transparent trailer, surround view, hitch guidance with hitch view, and a rear view camera mirror. You also have Chevrolet's acclaimed in-vehicle trailering app, which allows you to input custom trailer profiles, test trailer lights, diagnose electrical issues, monitor tire pressures, run through trailering checklists, and more. Another cool standard feature is GCW Alert, which will signal when the maximum weight the truck can safely carry is exceeded. Out back, there's a 2-inch receiver hitch with a 7-pin electrical connector, not to mention provisions for plugging in auxiliary cameras. The ZR2 has a trailering rating of 8,900 pounds and a payload rating of 1,440 pounds. A trailer brake controller is standard. With the added ride height of the ZR2, it's more difficult to climb inside without having traditional running boards. You can use the Bison Edition's rock sliders as pseudo running boards, but they're narrow and require extra caution, especially if wet. Thankfully, the grab handles on the B pillars are quite helpful with hoisting yourself up. That being said, Chevrolet offers several running board options for the standard ZR2, including off-road high clearance steps. They're just not available on the Bison Edition. For the 2022 model year, Chevrolet introduced all new interiors on the LT models and above. It's a huge leap forward in quality, technology, and ergonomics. All of the vertical elements of the previous instrument panel were replaced with horizontal lines and floating elements to enhance the feeling of spaciousness. The look and feel of the interior was elevated with new color options, seat designs, and a greater use of high quality materials. That's especially true for the higher end models. With the new interior layout, there's an all new 13.4 inch infotainment touchscreen and an all new 12.3 inch digital configurable instrument cluster. The center console design is also new and features an electronic console shifter on models with bucket seats. The ZR2 comes standard with leather upholstery and a unique two-tone theme of jet black and gray stone with unique textured upholstery on the doors, dash, and center console and dark trim finishers. You'll also notice yellow accent stitching throughout. 
The Bison Edition goes a little further with AEV logos on the headrests and all-weather floor mats to highlight the unique partnership. The blend between capability, comfort, and convenience becomes very obvious once you climb inside. ZR2s come standard with 10-way power adjustable front seats with 2-way power lumbar, a manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, heated and ventilated front seats, and a heated leather wrap steering wheel. A power adjustable steering column is included with the technology package. A premium 7-speaker Bose audio system with an included rich bass subwoofer is standard. A dual zone automatic climate control system is also standard. It can be operated via the analog controls in the center stack or digitally via the infotainment system. The centerpiece of the Silverado's redesigned interior is the all new and customizable central touchscreen and the digital configurable instrument cluster. Together, they provide incredible levels of personalization and intuitive engagement starting the moment you slide behind the wheel and the driver information center comes to life. The personalization options allow you the ability to prioritize views and even have two areas of information. For example, you can display the navigation and trailering details simultaneously with the option to prioritize one over the other. You can also choose full screen navigation or entertainment or other options. It's all about enabling a more personalized experience that enhances comfort and convenience. Additionally, most Silverados come with Google built-in capability, with three years of service included on certain trim levels. With it, many of your favorite phone features are available in the vehicle through the infotainment system, including Google Maps, Google Assistant, and Google Play. With Google Assistant, you can use your voice to get directions, play your favorite podcasts, control vehicle functions, and more, so you can keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Google Built-in is compatible with both Apple and Android devices, working with and complementing existing connectivity features such as wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as available Amazon Alexa. An additional feature included with the ZR2's technology package is a multicolor 15 inch diagonal heads up display, which, along with the two other displays, take the total of available digital display space to more than 40 diagonal inches, each helping provide an engaging, customizable, and comprehensive driving experience. A power sunroof is optional. Storage space for the front passengers includes large door pockets, a generous covered compartment with a removable tray, USB outlets and a 110 volt AC power outlet, a wireless phone charger, additional trays in the front of the console with two cup holders, as well as upper and lower glove box compartments. The lower one is lockable. Between Chevrolet's standard and available driver assistance technology, not to mention a wealth of standard active and passive safety systems, the Silverado lineup is packed with every safety feature one could hope for in a new truck. As far as driver assistance technology, the ZR2 includes pretty much everything as standard equipment, as you would expect from a premium truck. For starters, you have forward collision alert, a following distance indicator, front pedestrian braking, rear pedestrian alert, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, and automatic emergency braking. IntelliBeam automatic high beams, teen driver and buckle to drive are also included, as well as an HD surround vision camera, trailer camera provisions, trailer side blind zone alert, rear cross traffic alert braking, rear park assist, a safety alert seat, and LED perimeter lighting. With the ZR2's optional technology package, you get a rear camera mirror, a multicolor 15 inch diagonal head up display, adaptive cruise control, and a power adjustable steering wheel. There's six airbags in total, including dual stage frontal and seat mounted side impact airbags, driver and front passenger airbags, and roof rail airbags for all outboard seats. Today's full-size trucks make a strong case when cross-shopping full-size SUVs. Not only do you get the comfort, amenities, and overall roominess of an SUV, but you also have the added utility of the bed out back, 
It really is the best of both worlds, especially when you're looking at higher trim levels, which oftentimes share many of the same features as a premium SUV. The ZR2's back seat is well equipped and very roomy. The unique upholstery, stitching, and finishers carry into the back as well. You also have all-weather floor mats that offer full floor coverage. Some of the nice convenience features that are included as standard equipment on the ZR2 are the built-in seat back storage pockets on the left and right side, the center fold-down armrest with two cup holders, and a full width under seat storage bin. The upper door panels are padded. There's LED overhead lighting and there's coat hooks. USB Type A and Type C charge ports can be found in the back of the center console, which also include two additional cup holders and a pair of adjustable air vents. The outboard seats are heated. If you don't have anyone sitting in the back here, you can easily flip up the seat bottoms with one hand to open up the floor space for a large amount of dry interior storage. The under seat storage bin is where you'll find the tire changing equipment. I love how roomy these new crew cabs are. You can actually cross your legs or stretch out and relax with plenty of head, shoulder, and leg room. Sitting three adults is an easy task. Grab handles on the B pillars help with entry and exit. There's three adjustable headrests. However, only the outside headrests are full size. If you need the extra visibility, the outside headrests can be folded. A power sliding rear window is standard. Additional storage for the back seat include large door pockets and front seat back pockets. Well everyone, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you all enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2023 Silverado ZR2 Bison Edition. Be sure to stay tuned next time and leave a like down below because it really helps the videos a lot. If you haven't subscribed already, consider doing that too and make sure your notifications are turned on so you don't miss out on the upcoming content. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.